All right, in this video, we're going to go over to some of the uses for tailstock. Uh, the two ones we're going to go over today is the use of it with a, a live center and use of it with a drill chuck drilling holes or center drilling holes on the center line of the spindle of a, of a lathe. All drill chucks have a tang and a Morse taper that matches the Morse taper into the spindle of the, the tailstock. You just want to slide in your Jacobs chuck and slam it in place. I always pull on it, make sure it's set in place, and that's pretty much how you assemble the, the drill chuck into the tailstock. Jacob's chuck just as simple as anything else. Just like drilling, you have like a center drill, a chuck key, tighten it up. This tailstock moves along the ways. It has a tailstock assembly lock, and then you would turn on the lathe and you would do your center drilling. Loosen up your tailstock lock. Loosen up your chuck key. If you want to put a center drill and then change it to a drill, you could do that. Do the same thing. Move it up, tighten it up, do your drilling. That's one use of a tailstock. Second use is a live center. You take this drill chuck out, you basically turn this counterclockwise until it hits resistance and pop it a little bit and it comes right out of the tailstock. You always want to make sure that that spindle is clean and the shank on your center or your chuck key is clean so when they made up together when you pop it in there it stays locked in place. Slide it forward, you crank out the spindle until it touches your center drilled hole, lock your tailstock assembly, tighten up on your live center and lock your spindle lock on your tailstock. Now you're ready to start turning on your lathe with a really long piece that's supported by your tailstock. To take this out, same same way you would take out the drill chuck, you just loosen up the spindle lock and the tailstock lock, you slide it back out of the way, you crank it back until it feels resistant, and you pop it just a little bit and it pops it out of the taper and it comes out. That's pretty much it for how to use the tailstock on this particular lathe.